Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com and in this video I'm going to show you seven Etsy alternatives for making money selling your art. So if you have handcrafted goods, whether you make your own jewelry, you make your own clothes, you do art prints, you do digital downloads of art prints, you do paintings, whatever it is that you do that's related to your own designs, art, handcrafted items, I want to show you seven alternatives to Etsy so that you have more places to make money and sell your work. So the first thing that you might look at is Amazon Handmade. And of course you get to leverage the massive amount of traffic that Amazon has and the fact that pretty much everyone probably has some sort of payment method already on file on Amazon so it'd be very easy for them to order something if they found your work on Amazon so Amazon handmade is specifically made for stuff that you've created yourself that is like stuff that you would sell on Etsy so I would check that out as far as traffic goes this is gonna have the most traffic of any of the options I mentioned most likely and you know you're leveraging the power of Amazon plus they even have the affiliate program to go with it so Amazon handmade is a great choice because of the massive amount of traffic number two is Zazzle and Zazzle is another one where you can create your own designs on their website so you don't necessarily have to have something already created to ship or something like that you can actually create something in their creation area and sell it that way. So when you sell on Zazzle, you can go here, just click sell on Zazzle. And it talks about become a designer, become a maker, join as associate. So basically you can earn referrals as well like you can with Amazon and Etsy. Um, as an affiliate, you can sell products, you can sell your own art. and um, so there's all kinds of different options that you have here um, as far as stuff that you can create on your own you can create mugs home supplies clothing accessories craft supplies all kinds of stuff anywhere you can pretty much design or create something unique so Zazzle with the creation platform as well as the sales platform is definitely one of your best options plus they have a lot of traffic as well so they have plenty of potential buyers number three is eBay and of course eBay pretty much covers everything as far as what you would want to sell so this is a great place to sell um, used items things you don't need anymore whether it's cars whether it's old electronics whether it's you know sports equipment golf clubs tennis rackets um, and art is a big section here you can see collectibles and art has one of the main sections here on the home page so you can click collectibles and art you can create your own eBay store by going up here and clicking sell and start uh, selling your stuff on here and eBay you know one of the top websites in the world still at number 36 in the entire world in terms of traffic um, you can sell all kinds of stuff whether you create your own toys create your own furniture create your own artwork and it's going to have a ton of traffic so uh, maybe not quite as much traffic as say Amazon but it's gonna have uh, plenty of potential customers because a lot of people go on here to buy art and before Etsy was around before Amazon handmade was around this was pretty much one of the go-to places to sell your art anyway so they've been doing this a long time just go up here to click sell on eBay and start creating your listings number four you can sell on your own website so obviously creating your own website is one of the best ways to stand out as a professional artist and you can sell things without giving up any sort of commission to the middleman so the middleman is Amazon handmade Etsy Zazzle eBay these are our these are all middlemen now they get you the traffic you need they help you 
sell more items, but you make less per item because even though it's being sold for the same price as it would be on your website, they have to take a cut because that's how their websites pay the bills, that's how they grow, that's how they make money as their business. That's how everything works. But if you own the website, then there's no one to charge a commission. So you can create your own website, like I have my own website, and when I get more into selling art, that's probably what I'll do. I'll create my own website on top of having an Etsy or an eBay store, and if you want to create your own website, just go up here and click start a blog, and this will walk you through how to do so in three pretty simple steps. So this will only cost you three or four dollars a month, very cheap, but you're using WordPress, which is pretty much the most powerful website platform right now. Um, if you want to do this, you want to go the route of WordPress, then um, you're going to want a good theme. So you're going to want to design your site specifically for art and whatever it is that you're selling. So there is a great post on colorlib.com. You can see how to spell it, colorlib.com. And it is about the 18 best WordPress themes for artists such as musicians, singers, painters, and other creatives. So as an artist, these are going to be some of the best themes because they allow you to display lots of different artworks um, in big, really nice pictures. They make it easy to buy because they have like a shopping cart directly on your website. Um, and that will make it much easier to make your website stand out, to create your own brand. And as an artist, you probably, like me, like to have the creative freedom of creating your own display and creating your own website anyway, instead of having to use the cookie cutter style of an eBay store or Amazon handmade listing. So I would probably do, you know, one of the other ones to start out, but eventually you probably want to work your way up to your own website with WordPress and a good theme for art specifically. So Another thing you can do as far as um, selling your artwork is Redbubble. So Redbubble has all kinds of just uncommon artwork. You can sell shirts, you can sell stickers, you can sell wall art, home decor, bags, all kinds of stuff. So you can see even cases for the top smartphones right now, um, apparel, even stuff specific for kids and toddlers toddlers excuse me um, if you want to sell your art you just go up here and click sell your art this is another site that has a lot of traffic so believe it or not pretty much all the ones I've mentioned so far have tons of traffic I'm talking millions of visitors a year and um, in many cases millions of visitors per month so this of course Redbubble like Zazzle is specific only to art and things like that. So like Etsy, you can sell your stuff here. You may even like it better. But Redbubble should definitely be one at the top of your list. Um, number six is a very well-known site, very highly trafficked site, but it's going to be a little more local. So it's Craigslist. And Craigslist, of course, allows you to sell pretty much anything, put up job postings, um, list your house, all kinds of stuff. So this is going to track people that are typically close to you that might want to come by and look at it in person first or that you can just take directly to them without dealing with shipping and all that stuff. So it might make it easier if you want if you live near a pretty big metropolitan area like Dallas or Los Angeles or Chicago and you want to sell your art so what you would do is you would go under wherever your main city is that you're located near go to for sale and then go to arts and crafts so you go to arts and crafts 
you can see all kinds of different things for sale that people have created. So that shows you kind of a example of how you can do this on Craigslist and sell nearby and that way um, in many cases you can actually keep the full price instead of paying a commission to a big site like eBay or Amazon. And last but not least is Cafe Press. Cafe Press is another really nice alternative to Etsy because it allows you to um, sell all kinds of different things that you create. Um, just looking at products, you can see the many different categories they have, accessories, drinkware, wall art, hobbies, cases and covers, home stuff, stuff for toddlers, again, bags, clothing. They have a huge selection of things. They have a lot of traffic. Not quite as much as, say, like Redbubble, you know, Craigslist, eBay, and things like that, of course, but still lots of traffic. They're ranked 7,144 in the world, according to Alexa, and that's very high. So as far as selling stuff, as far as selling your designs, this can be a really good site to check out. And as far as selling stuff, um, you would just go up here and click Start Selling in the top right corner. And then you can create your little online shop. They also have a partner program with an affiliate program as well. So if you want to promote other people's art or have people promote your art, that's another great thing that attracts more people as well. So it's really nice to have plenty of places to sell your stuff is if you want to try something besides Etsy or you want to just get as much um, exposure as possible and sell them on all these sites maybe you do Etsy plus all seven of these other ones to get as much exposure as you can as an artist whatever you want to do it's up to you I just want to give you some more options besides just Etsy because most people when they think of selling art they think of Etsy so if you got something from this video, if you feel like you learned something about places to sell art, please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you. Also, if you want to let me know what you thought about the video or you want to let me know about some other places that I didn't mention that are like um, Etsy that make great alternatives, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and you know, people who watch this, I'm sure would love to see more alternatives as well. So help everyone out and let us know about some other sites that are out there and also I'll have the links to these pages as well as show notes and related content to this video on one page for you at selfmadesuccess.com in the coming days and I'll also get a link to that page for you in the video description so other than that I hope you enjoyed the video hope it helps you out and I hope you have a great day